I teach, uh, this is not my only job, I teach intro to writing at USC. Okay, no, you don't, you don't have to clap. You're not affiliated with the university, are you, sir? Okay, he just gave me such a scary look. <laughs> I teach anything. I teach writing, I teach literature, I teach poetry. It's what they don't tell you in college is that the person teaching you is the only person that answered the email. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know what poetry is. What's a poem? A tweet, a text, a thought? That's what I tell the kids. One of my students sent me his breakup texts. <laughs> He'd saved them on PDF. <laughs> I said, why are you sending this? And he said, you said anything can be a poem. And I said, and? And he goes, I need you to interpret these. <laughs> So I read it and I said, she does not want to see you again. <laughs> and he said, I do not like that interpretation. <laughs> said, too bad. One of my students uh, at the end of the semester took a shirtless photo of himself, put it on Instagram and wrote the caption, shout out to at Amy Silverberg for teaching me everything I know, winky face. <laughs> I was like, why do you want to ruin my life? <laughs> and amazing body. <laughs> I can say that. They're over 18. Okay, edit that out. <laughs> okay, the wildest part was in this shirtless photo, he was holding a book of poetry by Bogwan. That's the cult leader from Wild Wild Country. I was like, dude, I did not assign that. But I will read it. <laughs> I teach a class called the Literature of Los Angeles. That's an easy one. Every class I teach is easy. <laughs> That's an easy one. All the students have to do is just turn in a quote from a book about LA. Just a quote. One of my students turned in the following quote. At least I have her love. The city she loves me. Lonely as I am. <laughs> Together we cry. <laughs> You guys know what that's from, right? Yes. Under the Bridge, it's a Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Yes. I was like, this isn't a book. He said, this is a song book. <laughs> I was like, am I such a bad professor? They don't know the difference between a book and a song. And I was like, it's Under the Bridge. The least you could have done was analyze it. It's actually about a heroin addict, Under the Bridge. And he goes, Under the Bridge? I thought it was about a troll. <laughs> And he got an A minus. Everyone gets an A minus in my class. I have a, a nice boyfriend. I've been dating the same guy for a few years now, a dumb hot guy. Okay. <laughs> nice guy. Uh, he works for a professional lacrosse league, job I didn't believe was a job, <laughs> till he insisted. <laughs> Thought we had nothing in common. On our first date, I was telling him how important books are to me reading, writing, and he goes, ugh, reading makes my eyes tired. <laughs> it's like, this is great. I'm sure we'll find something to connect on. <laughs> he has a lot of abs, and I was like, well, working out makes my body tired. <laughs> and he goes, how about this? I'll train you how to work out, and you train me how to read. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking illiterate? <laughs> And why am I excited by that? <laughs> uh, okay, Roe v. Wade just got overturned. If anybody cheers, I will squirt on you. I don't even know if that's a real thing. I will find a way. Roe v. Wade got overturned, which I'm uh, depressed about. I have a cool mom. My mom texted me. She goes, listen, you ever need an abortion? I have a hundred places I could take you any day of the week. But I was like, a hundred places? Also, my mom lives in Orange County, and she goes, 110, tell your friends. And then just text me five minutes later, any day of the week. I'm like, do you work for Big Abortion? Who is paying you? Thank you very much. I'm Amy Silverberg. Give it up, your husband.